Hi there, today we're going to learn about missing addends. So addends, we've talked about those before. Addends are the numbers we use to add up to find a sum. So look here, we have a number that is missing. 2 plus something equals 7. This is our sum, our answer. Now you notice a magnifying glass here. Think of this like a mystery, and we're trying to find our mystery number. What is this number right here? So we're detectives. Now there are a couple ways we can figure this out. First thing is we can count on because the missing number is always the number that adds with the number you already have to make the sum if you're counting by ones. So we can go and count up to seven. So let's take a look at a number line and see if we can figure that out. So here we have our handy number line. We start at two right here and count up to seven. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five. We made five hops to get to seven. So the missing number between two and seven, two plus five equals seven. So our missing add end, our missing number, is five. Another neat way we can do this is by flipping our number around. We'll call this a flip around. And change this from an addition to a subtraction fact. If you subtract the number here from the sum, from the answer, you'll find that missing number. So if we take that 7 and we subtract the 2, we will find the missing number. 7 minus 2 is 5. So that proves that 2 plus 5 equals 7. Let's check it just to make sure. 5 plus 2, 5, 6, 7. Yes, indeed. So two, 7 minus 2 equals 5, or 2 plus 5 equals 7. So if you take your answer, your sum, and subtract the number, that's why we have that right there, from it, you can also find the missing number. So look at that. We have two different strategies for finding the missing add-on. You can count on from the number, count up by ones, to find the sum, and you'll find your missing add-on. Or you can flip it around and make it a subtraction fact, and you can find the answer that way as well. Let's try one together. Okay, so we have to find the missing add and find the missing number here. So we have 4 plus something equals 6. Be a detective here. Think about finding that mystery number. So we have two strategies we've talked about. You can count on from the number you have to get to the 6. Or you can subtract. Use a flip around, flip it around, and subtract the 4 from the sum. Let's start by just counting on. So if we start here at 4, and count on to get 6. 5, 6. So I did 1 hop, 2 hops, so my total is 2. So 4 plus 2 equals 6. Now let's do our flip around for practice. We take our sum, our answer, right here, we subtract the number we have, minus 4, and we'll find our missing number. 6 take away 4 is indeed 2. They both match up. 4 plus 2 equals 6. 6 minus 4 equals 2. You found your missing add end. Great job. Today we've been practicing finding the missing add end. Remember, it's the mystery number. Be a detective and find that missing number. Great job, and I can't wait to talk to you more about math soon.